the biggest part of life is that you learn from your mistakes. And I think, in a weird way, Disney has learned from its mistakes. Now, I know this video is going to sound really weird, and let me say by first, I don't hate the Solo movie. It's not one of my favorite Star Wars movies by a long shot, but it's not the worst. It, it is in no way, I think, the worst Star Wars movie ever. I think some people are like, I hate this movie because it's Disney and I don't like it. No, the title for worst Star Wars movie can go straight to Attack of the Clones. We Don't kid yourself, that movie is fucking garbage. Um, but Solo is not a great film in of its own right. It is not... I, I think there were just so many problems with that movie and the end product. But on the other hand, though, I know a lot of people were like, Oh no, Disney's clearly going to fail because one movie was a, was a hiccup. And yet, you know, people said how bad Last Jedi was, and that was a like financial success, despite the division among the fans. Which, by the way, FYI, there was divi division among the fan base when Empire Strikes Back uh, showed up. Just saying. We just never saw it because the internet wasn't a thing. Now, the other thing is that um, when this came out, Bob, you know, after the failure of this film... Bob Iger, made, the head of Disney, basically said, Hey, uh, real quick, real quick, we're going to slow down on the Disney, on the uh, Star Wars franchise and just kind of, uh, you know, reassess. Basically saying, we know we done goofed and we're going to try something new. And I think in a weird way, they have been doing something new. That something new is exploring new forums for Star Wars. They've, they're exploring a new, you know, new outlook into the Star Wars universe in that, you know, build a theme, uh, you know, build a park around it. Um, you also have them exploring into, new, into mediums that we don't see a lot of Star Wars in, although now, uh, which is they're doing the final season of Clone Wars, and we have The Mandalorian, which I'm really excited for. You know, that kind of outlawish, man with no name kind of thing. I am excited for The Mandalorian. So, and also we have the Cassian Andor TV show with K2SO uh, appearing in there as well. Now, a lot of people seem to think that Disney, like, is just going to fail utterly. It's just going to utterly fail despite making a theme park around, you know, making an entire park and their biggest expansion yet to their parks with Star Wars and it's all going to fall apart. Like, there's still people on the internet still, you know, naysaying it. And keep in mind, these are 90% 90 90 of those people are the same people who basically said we should give the, you know, Lucas should not have the rights to Star Wars anymore. He's clearly lost his artistic vision after the prequels. So, you know, just saying, hypocrisy, thy name is fan base. Just saying. Anywho, getting back to this point... Now, like I said earlier, failure is an amazing tool. Failure sucks, but at the same time, you can learn from it. So, this is what Disney did. They learned from it because they announced that they were going to put a break on the Star Wars movies. And I know what people are, are saying, like, oh, you know, we were all excited for Disney movies every year. I wasn't. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys were, too. You Oh, you guys say you want Disney movies every year. But you have to understand, the Disney, uh, you know, Star Wars is not like the MCU. Star Wars, you know, the MCU is a gigantic, expansive universe that has been built for years. It's been built, it's been, you know, building for, like, years. And these films all have their own stories to tell in their own right, but they're all interconnected so deeply with one another these days. And I don't think the Star Wars could be able to do that, you know, on a yearly basis. The fun thing about Star Wars is that it's treated like an event every time it comes out. And yes, while Rogue One and, and you know, by a smaller point, um, Solo had that for a while. Let's be honest, the the flair would have run out really quick. And I feel like we've, we would have had Star Wars fatigue really, really fast. Let's not even beat around the bush, people. We would have had straight up Star Wars fatigue, from you know, after a few after a few years, you know. 
So I think it's, you know, it's a good idea to hold off on Star Wars films for a little bit, because remember, yes, Ryan Johnson is still doing his movie. Despite no matter how much you kick and scream, it is, he is still doing his movie. Um, same with the creators of Game of Thrones. They are still doing their trilogy. I also want to mention that I should have said trilogy for Ryan Johnson as well. Sorry. Um... But yeah, that's the thing, is that these people are still working on their films, but there's go they're actually going to have time this time around. They're actually going to have time to make something great. And rather than have it, you know, packaged and, you know, put on a lunchbox and you're selling. I know I butchered the line, but fuck you, I'm tired. Um, so that's the big thing you have to look at, is that... Um, these people are now being, you know, these directors are now going to be given a chance to weave these stories to make them better rather than be on a set deadline every fucking year. Because I guarantee you, I, you know, it wouldn't, you know, don't matter who it was, who were on these projects, if you force them into doing something and editing them and forcing them to be on a schedule every time, I don't care if you're like... Quentin Tarantino doing a Star Wars movie. That movie, if you rush something, there's a good chance it might fail um, on a spectacular scale. So, it's probably for the best that Star Wars, movie-wise, takes a back seat. This allows Disney to essentially, you know, do something new. You know, explore t more TV shows. That's what I'm excited about. More TV shows. If The Mandalorian and Clone Wars do well, which, by all intents and purposes, looks like that's going to be the case, um, there's a good chance we could get more stuff. You know, there's a good stuff that television can tell us lo bigger and longer stories. They could tell us these massive um, storylines without the need of doing a, a movie trilogy. That's what I think is really... Um, exciting right here is that TV while we've had TV shows in the past of Star Wars we've never really you know it's never territory we've explored in in the um, you know the Star Wars franchise aside from Clone Wars and a few other things um, so that's the you know that's the big thing right there um, I I think yeah this could give us a shot to do something, you know, new and spectacular with it, and we can thank Solo for failing in a way, because now Disney won't, you know, won't drive Star Wars into the ground. It'll give it time to breathe, it'll allow them to experiment with new TV shows, new creative teams, and not be as, you know, it'll probably not be as hostile as it is with the, you know, with the writing staff in those aspects. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure there were some, you know, heated debates between um, some of the directors and writers due to these deadlines. So, you know, keep that in mind. But that's the big thing you have to look at, is that we can now explore those thanks to one particular failure. You know, one failure after that, because I'm pretty sure we would be like, oh, another Star Wars movie this year, whoopie frickin' do. Yeah, it's not like with the Marvel movies where you can, you know, expect these movies, you know, th two or three movies a year. The difference here is that I feel like, like I said earlier, Star Wars is more has like this specialty of doing a big universe, but still feel like a sandbox in a way. Where it's not like where with Avengers where, you know, these Marvel movies are so, you know tied together so deeply that you kind of need these multiple movies to tell out these stories. That's a... Um, that's a big thing they have to do now. Um, so that's, you know, that's the case you have to work with right, for right now, is that these universes are, you know, this Star Wars universe, while people are saying, oh, it's gotten smaller because Disney fucked up, no, I'd say it's getting a chance to be bigger. You know, I still think that we should get a Stormtrooper TV show, and now that's a possibility. You know, I've wanted that since day one. I've wanted a Stormtrooper TV show more than I've wanted a, you know, Stormtrooper movie. Because I feel like TV is a medium where you can tell a longer story and tell this big, expansive epic. Um, and The Mandalorian will probably showcase that. It will probably showcase that form. So, yeah. 
I'm actually glad that, you know, well, I'm not gonna laugh, ha ha, it failed. I'm actually, in the cosmic sort of way, I'm happy that it failed in that Disney was allowed to reassess their situation and not, you know, beat us in the head with Star Wars, because then it would, I feel like it would lose its charm. So, yeah, but in that context, I would say that, yeah, glad it failed because it, you know, it allows Disney to give us something different and new with this Disney Plus uh, show, and hopefully new stuff in the future. I'm still excited for Ryan Johnson's movie, well, trilogy, excuse me, and I'm still excited for what the creators of Game of Thrones are going to do with Star in the, with their Star Wars trilogy. But for now, yeah, we have the Mandalorian, Clone Wars, and God knows what else Star they're going to do. We still have a Darth Vader VR game, which I think is coming out this year, or early next year. Not 100% sure on that, so have to check back with me on that. But yeah, so you guys tell us in the comments below, what do you guys think? of Solo's failure and the future of Star Wars, and do you think Solo's failure was a blessing in disguise for uh, Disney? Do you think it was a, 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 you know, it succeeded in the sense that it allowed Disney to go back to the drawing board and give a, and allow us to give us, you know, bigger and better Star Wars films? Could it be the case there? Um, so yeah. You guys comment below, let, you, let us know here at Comic Universe. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.